Well, this is the first ever rounding the bases with Steve Gelbs. Brandon, congratulations on being the pick. <laughs> thanks, thanks for having me, Steve. All right, so the concept for this, this segment here is that we are going to start at home plate, walk around the bases. When we get back to home plate, interview's over. Perfect. Simple enough? S simple enough. All right, so let's start going now, okay? okay? <laughs> now, here's the, the one really important thing of any good interview. You want to make your subject comfortable. Okay. So be honest with me, are you uncomfortable walking to first base and not sprinting? <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, I, I am a little bit uncomfortable walking to first base. Um, I, I don't know, I, my dad has always taught me to play the game hard and I, uh, and so I just always would hustle to first base. Uh, it started as, you know, just playing the game hard and when you're a kid, you never know if the ball is going to get by the catcher either. So you always run to first base in order to try and, uh, you know, like in case the ball gets by him, maybe you can take second base, especially with speed. But, um, you know, I, I, I just, I really get really excited to, to get to first base. Uh, winning in at bat is, is something that's really exciting for me. So you talk about that excitement, right? And I, I think one of the, the most amazing things about you is that the joy that we've seen from day one with you yeah. has not let up at all years and years into the league. Yeah. Why is that? Why have you been able to maintain? When so many people, they come up as one person yeah. and for whatever reason, maybe they take it for granted, yeah. get a little jaded. Why yeah. does that not change with you? You, you, can, you can get that way in the big leagues. Don't get me wrong. It, it, uh, either one, the, the atmosphere can, can change you. The, how you're treated can change you. Uh, but for me, I've always tried to and been able to have experiences that have kept me uh, reminded of how just how fortunate I am to be here and I just try and go back to when I was 12 years old and was just dreaming about being that guy and playing in that stadium and how fortunate and how awesome I would think that was and how I wouldn't take any of that for granted if, if I were to go back to that 12 year old self so that's how I've been able to try and keep the the youthfulness in, in, in me for, for so long. You have come so far in so many aspects of your game. The one part of your game, I ask you about it every yeah. spring, you say you want to work on yep. it, but then it never really seems yep. to happen, yep. is stealing bases. Yep. Why, as someone with the speed that you have, why has that never been something that you've been able to kind of get comfortable doing? Yeah, um, I can get better at it, um, but I prioritize, you know what, if I'm on base for these guys, I would rather take my chance of me scoring from first uh, and, and getting home uh, on a double uh, and all these guys that hit behind me have that opportunity than, you know, for me to get thrown out, you know, 50% of the time. Really, every other aspect of your game has come such a long way yeah. from the time you were drafted, from the time even you got up to the big leagues. Yeah. If you were to pick one that you said, I'm, I'm most proud, I've come the furthest in that regard, what would it be? I would say left-handed pitching. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I would say my ability to put up good at-bats and produce against left-handed pitching now, that was such a uh, glaring thing to me when I got to the big leagues um, that the fact that I was able to improve on that, uh, I really, I'm really, really proud of that. And I would say in a close second, it would be center field. Um, you know, taking that, uh, that criticism and, and saying, okay, how can, I, how can I get better and how can you guys help me to get better and, and then applying that. All right, so we're at home plate, the slowest home run trot of your career. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. want to finish with one quick question though, yeah. just team-wise. You guys, for as long as you've been here, have gone on great stretches and, yep. and there's always been this great potential. Yep. And for some reason, it never quite get, gets over that finish line. Yep. Why is this year different? Why do you feel like this team this manager, it's different. Yeah, here. I, you know, I, I would say it goes back to that. It goes back to, you know, the makeup of the team and the makeup of, of our manager. Um, you know, Buck has uh, been around the game for so long that we're, we're never going to be unprepared for a situation. And we have a lot of veteran guys, guys that have been really good and on the other side of things, sometimes really bad at times. And you need both of those experiences in order to succeed, I, I believe, over a 162 game season. Well, it's a really good thing, not just that you guys have that model, but that the ball was just rattling around the outfield this whole time, because now you can touch home yeah. play <laughs> they didn't get the yes. throw in, and we did it. Brandon Nemo, our first ever round of the base was yes, Steve Gelbs. Thank Thanks you. so much. Thanks man. for having me, Steve.